Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm finding you. Yeah, not, not too bad. Had a good day. Yourself? I had a good day, too. Okay. That's always good. Did you go to work, or what did you do? I work it. You work? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, and what do you do again for work? What do you do for your job, Eduardo? Work in a insurance company. That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, I taught one class today, and now this is my second. Uh, other than that, I just kind of hung out, so haven't really done too much. Um, but thank you, Eduardo, for uh, offering, um, talking about what you did today, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Edel, hello. Edel. Hi, Ben. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Yourself? I'm good, thank you. Okay, good. Did you do anything special today? Mm, no. No? Nothing. Just a normal day? Yes. Okay. A normal day. Fair enough. Fair enough. Nothing wrong with a normal day, right? Nothing bad happened, so that's good. Can you hear me? Yeah, is it can. Okay, just making sure. Uh, but welcome, uh, Adele. Uh, Ukraine, hello. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you, Ben. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. It's uh, it's a normal day, but you know, can't complain. So that's good. <laughs> that's good, Dan. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, welcome, uh, Jorge, uh, Horge, Horge. How do I say your name? Is it just George. Yeah, George, George Luis Solis. Hi, George. How are you? Hello. Oh, I'm doing well. Yourself? Can you repeat? I was just asking how you are. Uh, um, I'm I'm good. This is my okay, first good. time well, in Colingo. This is my first time here. Okay. Um, I don't know. No problem. Yes, I don't know. What is that? Um, it's all that making. I, you'll you'll figure it out, okay? So no worries. Welcome to Kalingo. Thank you. Uh, Louisa, hello. Hello. How are you? I am fine, thank you. I also have a really normal day, just working. Yeah. Well, like I said uh, before, nothing wrong with a normal day. Uh, so if you can't complain about it, then we might think it's normal, but it's pretty good. You know, most of our lives yeah. are normal days, uh, and so I would think those are pretty good days. So, uh, Patricia, hello. Hi, Ben. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Yourself? I'm doing well, too. Okay, good to hear. Uh, glad you can make it. Uh, Walter, hello. Can you hear me, Walter? No. And last, Anderson Binkowski, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Well, and are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, glad you can make it. Um, so everybody, welcome to my class. Uh, this is a beginner, beginner English class, vocabulary. Uh, so it's going to be pretty simple. 
we're going to be just talking about uh, things around the house, uh, furniture, uh, utensils, uh, things that we find in certain rooms, what rooms we have in our house, uh, and the things that we can find there. And then I'll briefly also go over uh, prepositions in, at, and on. So at any time, if you have a question, let me know. If I speak too fast, just tell me. If you want me to repeat something, just ask. Okay? So like I said, uh, this class uh, is going to be about um, rooms in the house and furniture, uh, things that we can find in the house. So uh, let us start. Okay, first I'm just going to show you a couple of things, a couple of items that we would see in the house. I want you to tell me what you do with that item and where you can find the item in the house. Okay? All right. One second, please. All right, first, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. good. That's that is always a good start. Okay, so in the top left, the bathtub. What do we do with the bathtub and where do we find it? I take a bath. Take a bath. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, do you really take a shower in a bath? Not really, you just take a bath. Just yeah. to relax, I think. Put some, put some candles. Some roses, yeah. some bubbles, <laughs> a bottle of wine. Yeah. Okay. Some chocolate. Okay. Uh, chocolate. <laughs> some chocolate. Okay. Sometimes. All right. So you guys do all the. Okay. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. So we all know what to do in the bathtub. We get clean. Okay. We get clean in the bathtub. Uh, next to the bathtub is the blender. Uh, what is the blender? It's the blender. It's for to cook, for to prepare soups. No. Like a sauce. To, to make, yeah. to make Food? mix fruits. Mayonnaise. Juice. Well, yeah. As the word says, the blender helps you to blend stuffs, <laughs> just to mix them out, uh, maybe to make juice or to mix up some cooking things basically yeah um, you know usually I use a blender to make something called uh, a smoothie do you guys know what a smoothie is yeah that's yeah. right it's a bit of thick juice yeah it's like a thick juice um, and you can thin out the juice if you want to put water or milk or whatever um, but it basically takes uh, fruit or vegetables and it makes it uh, uh, basically into a juice so to speak, it cuts it up real fine. Um, you can also make salsa in a blender if you want. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really do much. It really just cuts things up to a very fine degree. Uh, where do you find the blender? In what part in the of the, what? In the kitchen. All right, good. And what about the dishwasher? Do you guys have a dishwasher in your house? No. No, I don't. No. Not really. No, I don't have. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, it's it. Say again. I have seen them before. You have seen them. Yeah, sure. They're actually they're beneficial at times, but they can also be troublesome. Um, you know, it it sanitizes. Do you guys know the word sanitize? Yeah, they it yeah. make them cleaner. Yeah, it it kills the germs or the bacteria. Off of the off your uh, dishes and glasses and silverware, so you know you wash by hand and you get all the food off, but you don't get the bacteria off. Uh, the dishwasher will actually take the water and it will be very hot, and it will kill the germs. So that's one benefit of the dishwasher. Uh, just like the dishwasher, I, most people uh, that I know don't really have dryers. Uh, you don't see them uh, very often. Uh, do you guys have a dryer? No. No, I don't. It's it's a waste of electricity. Uh, yes. The sun, the sun is a pretty good dryer. 
Mm. Yeah. So. yeah, but, yeah, but sometimes there are cities where they, I don't know, usually when you have maybe a backyard, you're able maybe to put the clothes outside. But sometimes you live maybe in a flat or it's really high up and you don't have the day maybe the chance to put the, put the clothes in the sun and you need a dryer. I mean, sometimes it's really beneficial for that. No, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. And and that makes sense. Uh, when my fiance and I were living in China, we were living on the 19th floor in the city. And, uh, you know, there was no space for us to dry our clothes. Um, do we even have a dryer? Yeah. Yeah, and we did We did have a dryer. <laughs> so So it was beneficial. I was making sure I was going somewhere with that comment. So... Uh, yeah, we did have a dryer, and it was beneficial. So, uh, Ephraim, I I do agree with what you said. Uh, sometimes you don't have the space uh, to uh, put your clothes out in the sun. Yeah, usually when you live maybe in a warm weather, and you have a kind of a space in the back of your house, you just just put the clothes out, and that's it. It's really yeah. really nice, but sometimes it's different. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Everybody has a different living situation, and you got to do what you got to do. Um, the microwave. This is something when I was a, a kid, I used to use a lot, especially at university. But now I never ever use the microwave. I never use the microwave um, because I just heard it's really bad for your food. Um, it's just just what I heard. I don't know the science behind it. But I no longer use the microwave. But where where do I find the microwave, and what does it do? I, I, uh, say okay. Go ahead. Say what you're gonna say. Who said I, that? Who was that? I uh, agree with you uh, about the microwave. Yeah. Uh, the comments are fully very bad. Yeah. Um, really, pasta uh, is very bad when it's uh, microwave. Yeah, uh, I agree with Walter. Um, it does something to the the like the the molecules in the food. Uh, it's it's almost like radiation, you know. Um, and no one wants to be to have radiation, uh, so why do we want to eat food that is radiated? So to me, you might as well just cook your food. Um, but it, it's a it's a fast way to cook your food when you don't have time to cook your food. Um, it's it's basically you see it for people in college or university. That's how they make their food. They don't have time to cook, uh, but they have time to drink. Uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, okay, the next one, uh, refrigerator. Okay, I, I imagine all of you guys have this. Um, what do what do you guys put in the refrigerator? What what things do you put in the refrigerator? Water, and fish, milk, fruits, vegetables, meat, eggs, eggs cheese, yogurt, drinks, soda. Okay. Beer. Uh, beer. <laughs> beer. Okay. Now I heard beer. someone say uh, fish. Do you guys put the fish in the refrigerator or in the freezer? In the freezer. In the freezer. In the freezer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, very good. So that's just a few uh, some appliances that we find. Uh, let's move on. Uh, we'll just do a couple more of these. Uh, that's pretty easy. Um, the stove, obviously, it's uh, it's if you if you do, do you guys like to cook? No. No. <laughs> where, where do you get your food? Um, my mother cooks. <laughs> ah. Well, what happens when you no longer live with your mother? Are you um, going to be the cook then, or are you gonna hope your husband is the cook? I hope he will learn to cook. <laughs> Fair enough. No, Fair no, enough. but I, I can do some things in the kitchen. Just you just don't want little, to. 
Um, well, I don't want to, but if I'm um, at home and I'm hungry, I have to fix something. Yeah, I gotcha. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> now, what what do you call the uh, the thing uh, underneath the stove? Because we call the stove the top, like we call that the the burners. But what's underneath? The oven. The oven. oven. And what do you guys do with the oven? Do you guys use the oven? Yes. Yeah, sometimes you prepare cakes or lasagna or the kind of stuff. Okay, okay. so baking goods. Anything you bake with, so to speak. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, you guys ever make homemade pizza? Pizza, yes. <sighs> It's really difficult. <laughs> it's a difficult, but it's, it's, it is a lot of work. It does take a lot of time. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, now, look at the toaster. Does anybody even have a toaster? No. Yeah, the cheese and toast. Amazing. <laughs> it, to me, it just seems like you can easily toast your bread somewhere else. And you, there's only one function of the toaster. And so to me, it's like a waste. Because you could easily toast your bread on the on the stove with like yeah. butter or whatever. So um, I but we where I my parents had a toaster, um, but we also had a toaster oven. Do you guys know what that is? Yeah, it's a small one when you can put stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a small, really, really small one. I've yeah, seen and, it. and and you put it in sideways. So instead yeah. of top down. You put it in sideways, and it's like a toaster, but also an oven at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you guys know what the toilet is, or at least I hope so. Uh, the television and the washer. Okay, so easy. So, but yes? So, yes. Um, you can call the cooker as well, right? Uh, that's something the British do. They call it the cooker. Yeah, um, and the person who cooks the cook. The person that does the cooking is the cook or the chef. Those are interchangeable. Okay, okay? so the chef and the cook are the same thing, uh, and you can call it either or. Okay. Uh, and you can call it the cooker. You can also call it the burner. All right. Okay. All right. So next, uh, the thing at the very top, okay, what is it? Um, Maybe some, here's your choices. Can you see that? No. Yeah, let me get it's too small. Is that better? Dre dresser. 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 It, dresser. Yeah. It is dresser. the dresser. Dresser. All right. Good. All right. And what is this thing? Mirror. 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 All right. Easy enough. And chair. Just a chair. Yeah. All right. Chair. Now, if I had to ask you, what kind of chair is that? I don't know. Office. Office. Office chair. Okay. Yeah. It is yeah. an office chair. You're not going to have that in your living room. You know, yeah. like, hey, let's watch TV here. Have the chair. <laughs> so. This is an office chair, but we also call it something else uh, in the U.S. Uh, usually, when you you sit on this, what are you in front of? A desk. Computer. Yeah, you're in front of a desk or a computer, and so we call it a computer chair. Mm. Computer chair. Yeah, because the only time you'll ever buy that or sit in it is when you're in front of a computer. I mean, you don't sit in it in the kitchen. You don't have it in your. You don't have it in your living room. You don't have it in uh, your bathroom. It's only in front of the computer. Yes. In Brazil, this is a secretary chair. Say again. In Brazil, this calling secretary chair. I uh, well, you could call it a secretary chair uh, because the secretary sits in it. Um, we just call it a computer chair because the boss, you know, the accountant, the attorney, the secretary, the teacher, all of them sit in there. So instead of just giving it to a certain job, we give it to 
um, where everybody sits in front of, and most people sit in front of a computer uh, in that chair. But also, uh, notice that it has wheels on the bottom. We, so we call that a rolly chair because it rolls around. Okay, so we call it a rolly chair. Rolly chair. Yeah. That's not a real word, I don't think. Can you roll? Is rolly a real word? Yeah. No, rolly is not a real wor word, but people use it. So I'm just letting you guys know. Um, what is this thing? Yeah. 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 And yeah. what what do you put your uh, head on? Pillows. Okay. Pillows. And what do you get under? Bed clothes. <laughs> Blank. A blanket. 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 Yeah. And now there's also we have two things. The blanket is the heavy one, but then there is something. Um, Underneath the blanket. So to me, we have we have a blanket, and then we have the sheet. Okay. So the the usually the very thin linen one that you get underneath, we call that the sheet, and then on top of the sheet, we call it the blanket. And all together, how do you call them? Okay. Um, well, can you, there's, can you tell blanket? Yeah. Yeah. So a blanket. There's the blanket, and then we call it a sheet. So the sheet is the thin piece, okay, and it's underneath. And then underneath the sheet is, um, I'm sorry, underneath the blanket is the sheet. Uh, All together, we just call it uh, bedding material. Bedding material. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, any questions on that? No questions. Okay. Uh, what is this thing? This is look like a video player. Tape recorder. I. But it's not a tape recorder because. Uh, it doesn't record on. Well, it does. It is a tape recorder. Okay, I I agree with you. Uh, it's video tapes. Tape it, it's a VCR, is what we call it. Um, we call it a VCR. Does that stands for video cassette recorder? <laughs> um, it doesn't exist anymore. Not a, you're right. You're right. So what do we use now? I don't know. Well, instead of uh, DVD player, we use ex you use like um, Blu-ray DVD really? player. Yeah, a Blu-ray player, a DVD player, you know, something like that. But you're right; they don't exist anymore. Um, what is this? Table. table. What kind of table? Mm. Dinner table. <laughs> It could. I mean, it's it's the color is not very good. I don't know if I would want that in my dining room. <laughs> dining room. So, uh, okay. Like a kind uh, of kitchen one. Yeah, yeah. Um, interesting colors. If that is in my dining room, I wonder what my walls are colored. If that's the case. Um, okay. The next one. What is this? TV. It's a, it's a flat TV. It's a flat TV. TV. Okay. It is a television. And this? Bookshelves. Bookshelves. We also call it a bookcase. Book case. Book case. Okay, but they're both the same. They're interchangeable. A bookcase and a bookshelf uh, are the same. Now you have to... Uh, here, here's the difference. A bookshelf is just one shelf. So where you see all the green books that is one bookshelf. Where you see the orange or yellow books, that is another bookshelf. So it's a piece of wood where you can put books there. So this bookcase has two bookshelves. 
Okay. Uh, and last, what is this? Coach. Sofa. Couch. Both of those are correct. We call it a sofa, but we also call it a couch. Couch. Um, couch. I call it a couch at my house. Okay. Um, but people also call it a sofa. All right. We don't need to do this. Uh, okay, let's see if you guys know these, and we'll do something oh. else. Um, what is this? Plate. plate. Is okay. A plate. Okay. It is a plate. Uh, we usually call them dinner plates as well, uh, but obviously uh, we only say that during dinner time. If you're having breakfast, you just say, "Can I have a plate, please?" So, but yes, it is a plate. Okay, next. Pot. It's pot. not a pot. It's a jar. It jar. is a jar. True. Jar. It is a jar. It's also a jug. It's also a vase. Mm. Okay. So a jar, a jug, and a vase just means a big, a lot, a lot of. So take a look at, here, I'll show you. You see this? Okay. Yes. Okay. This is also um, a jar or a jug, but also a vase. Because uh, when I bought flowers for Sue, we put flowers in here. But I could easily put lemonade in here and put it in the refrigerator. So uh. it's it's multifaceted, so to speak. All right, uh, <laughs> that's a horrible drawing. Um, but what do you think it is? What do you think that is? Spoon. Spoon. A spoon. Okay, good. And what about this thing? This spoon. Dust pan. Yes, it's dust a dust pan. pan. Good. Damn. All right, and this. A fork. Okay. Fork. You guys are excellent. Doing good. Whoa. Bowl. 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 Nice. 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 <laughs> okay. Pot. Pot. Good. It's a pan. It is a pan. What kind? It is a frying pan. Frying pan. It is a frying pan. All right. Yeah. And last. Brush. Broom. We don't call it a brush. We call it a broom. Bro. Um, okay. Now here's a here's a trick question. What do you call a spoon and a fork that are combined as one? Really? What? What do you call it? What do you call it? It's a, a think of a, a a spoon and a fork together. Yeah, it's, As, I do remember, but it's kind of cur curly, curly, or something like that. Close. It's it, well. Just think of both of the names. So we call it a spork because it's a spoon <laughs> and a fork. It's a spork. But whatever the knife, whatever the knife, whatever the knife, the fork. And yeah, you know, I don't know. It does exist, but I don't know the name of it. And uh, Cesario, you're correct. These are all utensils. Uh, these are all utensils. Utensils. Okay. Now, let's see here. What do I got? All right. So now, what I want to know. Um, let's see. All right. Um, let me share this with you guys. All right. Certain types of so okay. Certain rooms in a house. Okay, can you see my? Too small. Too small. Is that better? Yes. Okay. Now the first thing I have is something called a reception room. And it's basically a room where people can sit. But that is English. 
we don't call that a reception room, but you have to think a reception room is where you receive. It's a waiting room. It's not the living room. Hold on. Okay, it's where you receive people. So where would you receive people? In the living room. Yeah, in the living room. Okay. Um, do you guys? Let's see. Sue, so what is it called when you have two of them? Ah, okay. Another. Now, do, you know, there's also a thing where some people in America they have a living room, and then they have another room, and they never use it except for like holidays. And during the holidays, then people come together in this room to spend time. And this we would call like the family room or the sitting room. Okay? Oh. And, and this is different than the living room because the living room is where you have the TV, the sofas, the couches. It's where uh, you spend most of their time. But also, people from the U.S., some people um, have way too many rooms in their house, and they s make weird uh, rule, excuse me, weird rules for these rooms. Like, you can't go in there unless it's like a holiday. Mm -hmm. And during a holiday, when they want to spend time with their family, everybody then goes into this room that they now are, you're allowed to go in. And they call it like the family room or the sitting room, um, and I and I'm not saying it's only for the holidays. You can go in there. It's just it's not used as often. It, most of the time, it is used for holidays. Uh, other time, most of the time, people are just in the living room. Okay. Um, yeah, it is weird. I agree. Um, okay. When you have something in suite, okay, when you have a bathroom in suite, it means the bathroom is attached to the bedroom. You do not have to leave the bedroom to get to the bathroom, okay? So if you are looking for a house and they go, oh, this bedroom has a bathroom in suite, it means the bathroom is actually connected to the bedroom. It's joined to it. Okay? So you don't have to leave the bedroom to go to the bathroom. Um, the utility room. Do you guys know what the utility room is? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, the utility room is... We also can call it the linen closet. And this is simply where uh, the washer and the dryer is. Uh, it's simply a room um, that is where you do... Um, sometimes it has the water heater. Sometimes it, it just has the washer and the dryer. So it's just this little space. Uh, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small. But it's just... Uh, they call it the utility closet. They call it the utility room. Uh, utilities are basically things that you use electricity with. Mm -hmm. So just think of appliances that don't belong anywhere else. Okay, uh, You're not going to put the stove in there because the stove belongs in the kitchen. You're not going to put the bathtub in there because the bathtub belongs in the bathroom. But the washer and dryer, they don't really have a place in the house. And so people try to put them wherever they can. And that usually becomes an extra area or room that we call the utility room. It could okay. be the laundry room? It could, yes, it could also be the laundry room. That, that also works. Laundry room, utility room, you know. I mean, here, here's how weird it is. My house, right? We don't have what we would call a utility room. We call it the pantry. Okay? So the pantry is simply the place where the dry goods of your food goes. 
So you have the refrigerator where all the mm -hmm. cold stuff goes, the fruits, the vegetables, the meats, the dairy. But what about the pasta? What about the cereal? What about the soup? All of the uh, canned goods. Okay? So we call that the pantry. You can think of it as a big dresser, but instead of putting clothes in there, you put your dried goods. <laughs> now some people have some people have um, a pantry uh, a pantry door where simply you open the door and there's your pantry. But we did not have that in our house. In fact, our utility room or our laundry room where we did our laundry also mm -hmm. had our cabinet where we had our pantry. So we simply, instead of calling it the laundry room or the utility room, we called it the pantry. So we did our laundry in the pantry. <laughs> okay, the, the, so. Because you have a small house, do you live in an apartment? Well, this is, um, this is my family's house. Usually in an apartment, you have a pantry, a, a, a pantry door. Okay. Right, and it's built into the wall, so they actually cut out spaces in the wall. So when you open the door, you recognize that the door doesn't go anywhere. It just it it, it hides your dried goods. Okay, and then also in an apartment, usually in the U.S., you have little shutter doors. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you what a shutter door is. You move the shutter doors, and that is where you have your um, washer and dryer. I mean, we're talking about a small space, big enough for a washer and a dryer, and that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So um, people, their rooms, anything they can, okay? Um, so don't, you know... There's a million names, and whatever works for you guys works probably. It probably works just fine. So the word I was talking about. Oh, cutlery. Ah, Ephraim, cutlery. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Um, any? Yes, I know what cutlery is. We call it also utensils. Okay, and now since I told you what a shutter door is. I want to show you shutter doors. Can you see those? Mm. Too small. Too small. Okay, better. Okay, hold on. So a shutter is where you can open and close for sight and or wind. Does that make sense? So here's a perfect example. So these shutter doors, okay, you simply Think of it as um, blinds. So instead of you have on your window you have blinds to keep the sunlight, maybe you have a door that has its own blinds, so to speak. Uh, and so this is a shutter door. It simply lets in light or stops light from coming in as well as air. It's not very good. Can you guys see this at all? So it is not like um, a complete door. Yes, no. They have like little windows, like lines. Exactly. Yes, just like blinds. So it's not actually a real door because it doesn't stop anything. I mean, it just, it just, I mean, it has holes in it. And you can open and close them whenever you want. Okay, that's a shutter door. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Let's move on. All right. So that's the utility room. Okay. Do you guys know what a patio is? A patio. The yard. It's not the yard. Yeah. It's not the yard. Uh, Ephraim. It depends. Sometimes for. Do you know what? Yeah. Sometimes you know for. Maybe in the United States it's quite different, but in maybe in very countries in South America, the patio is a part of the house that exists in a space. In the, it's like the backyard. It is in the, the no. backyard. The patio for us is the backyard. I don't know. Maybe in the United States it might be different, but the word patio in Spanish means the part of the house that you see the back, and it's like a big space, and you can have whatever you want, barbecues or whatever you want there. Okay, now you are correct, um, but what what is different for uh, in the U.S. is the patio is where the concrete is or the wood. So when you have grass, that's not the patio, that's the yard. Oh. Okay, so when you have a house and you go into the backyard, okay, whatever is the concrete or whatever is the wood, that's the patio, because it's still connected or part of the house. But once you um, get into nature, that is the actual mm -hmm. yard, or the backyard, the side yard, the front yard. Okay, and you're right, the patio is in the back. Um, now, the patio, you can have something called a deck. Okay, and the deck is similar to a patio, but it's only um, wood or plastic, and it's always raised above the ground, even if it's only six inches. The deck is always raised above the ground. Okay. Does that make sense, or should I show you an example? Picture, uh, if you have a picture, <laughs> is it an area uh, attached to the the bedroom or something like that, uh, where you can sit, uh, have a seat, uh, just to rest? When um, well, yeah, yeah, that that can be anything, anything in the back of the house. It can. It is a place to rest. Um, and if it has concrete on it, to to people in the U.S., it is uh, a deck. So, uh, see here how this is wood. Mm -hmm. This is the back patio. Okay. Uh, yes. But it's also a deck. Okay. So all oh, of deck. all of this, it's a deck. Okay, so it's added to the back of the house, and it's extra. Okay. And it's usually it's all it's almost always one of two things. It's either wood or plastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so different types of decks. And then let me see if I can show you a patio, just to. Okay, now a patio, like you guys said, it's basically an area that is not, uh, it's in the back of the house where you can sit, <laughs> relax, you know, have lunch, uh, hang out with your friends, barbecue, things like that. And the bottom is going to be made of anything, whether it's stone, uh, wood, concrete, you know, it can, it can be anything. But it's not covered with grass. No, but it's not covered with grass. Anytime it's covered with grass, that is simply the yard. Okay. 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 So here you can see how they have a patio, and then everything around it is the yard. The yard. <laughs> okay. 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 I got it now. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, let's keep that up. All right. Uh, 
but we also call it something else. We also call it the lawn. Okay? Um, so the yard is also the lawn. So when people say, when for me, my dad is like, uh, uh, Ben, I want you to go mow the lawn. Mow the mow lawn. lawn. Uh, okay. Okay? And that's simply saying, go cut the grass. Okay? So mowing the lawn is the same as cutting the grass or cutting the yard, whatever you want to say about that. Now, refurbished, okay, refurbished is simply taking something that is old and stripping it down to the frame, to the bare essentials of it, uh, to basically just the, the skeleton of it, so to speak. And then you're going to replace it and repair it wherever it needs to be and then you're going to basically make it like it's new again. So you can do you can do this with um, a house. You can refurbish a house. Uh, you can do this with uh, furniture. Yes. Is there a question? No. So refurbished. Is when you when someone's like, oh yes, uh, I just refurbished my house. Basically, what they did is they took it all apart except for the foundation, and the foundation mm -hmm. is basically the the skeleton of it, the bones of it. Okay, uh, but also the foundation is simply the um, the floor. Okay. And so uh, they kept the, the main beams, the main wood beams or concrete beams or whatever. And then they, they fixed it up and repaired it where they needed to, and then they made it look new again. And that is what refurbish means. Any questions on that? Nope. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Do I have? Okay. Uh, ta, 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 ta. Now, I might as well, guys, show you the difference between some English and British. Um, okay. In America, we call it an elevator, and they call it a lift. So it's the same thing. Okay. Just like, just like we call it. Uh, an apartment and they call it a flat. A flat. Very good. Okay. So uh, a janitor is someone that uh, cleans uh, an office. Okay. okay. They, they, they vacuum, they clean, they sweep, they take out the trash. Uh, that's the janitor. Uh, but the in, trash, that's another word. Trash rubbish. <laughs> Exactly. And that's garbage next. Gar yeah, yeah, garbage. Um, we do say uh, take out the garbage or take out the trash. Uh, we always say take out the trash. Mm -hmm. But it actually has a, it's, you know, when you say trash, it has a very negative connotation because people use it like, oh man, he's garbage, he's trash. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful with that. But, anyways, a janitor is. In British, a caretaker. Okay, uh, and there's trash for uh, U.S. English, and then rubbish um, in in British. So we say a trash can. We we hardly ever say the garbage can. We just say it's the trash can. Do you have a trash can? Okay, uh, Mel. In, in Britain, you said bin. Yeah, yeah. They say the rubbish bin, and we say the can, the trash can, the rubbish bin. Very good. Uh, and then you got mailman, and then the postman. And then we call it a yard, and they call it a garden. But see, to us, a garden is where you like plant things, whether it's fruit, vegetables, or flowers. That's a garden. That's not something you walk on. You know, the yard is where you can, like, run around and play baseball and football and, uh, you know, just play tag or hide-and-go-seek. But in a garden is where 
you plant flowers, you plant vegetables, you plant fruit. Um, the faucet is the water tap, uh, but we call it the faucet. Okay. Uh, the refrigerator and a fridge, and we call it a closet. They call it a wardrobe, um, but also they could call it a cupboard. Yeah, but um, look how the may I say go ahead. The cupboard is yeah. basically what you said was is in the kitchen where you put like cups or dishes and they are on the top. That's the cupboard. Sometimes maybe in the kitchen they call it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for for us in uh, the U.S., we a cupboard is where you put your plates, your dishes, your yes. cups, your uh, your glasses. That's the cupboard. That's not where mm -hmm. you put clothes. Uh, but apparently in English, that is similar to a wardrobe, and we just call that a closet. Okay, we call that a closet. Um, yeah, because you close it. And so a closet and a closet. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. They, it's like the Narnia thing. <laughs> the Narnia. Yeah, thing. exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, and so now let's try this uh, in, at, and on. Uh, I want to make sure. I'm sure you guys know this, uh, but I'm going to make sure. So here, I have a glass. Okay. And so. Uh, this is chapstick, or what? What would you call this? Where you put it on your lips? Not not for girls, but for chapped lips. Okay, it's not lipstick. It's not lipstick. It's for <laughs> it's when your yeah, it's, it's when your lips are dry. It's like kind of chapstick. That, okay. okay, yeah, we call it chapstick <laughs> because your lips are chapped. So, anyways, uh, where is the chapstick? It's inside in, the glass. In the glass. All right, good. It's in. It's in the glass. All right. Uh, where is the chapstick? On um, the top. On the top of the glass. <laughs> All right. Very specific. I like it. On. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know how to show at. <laughs> oh, here. Here. <laughs> Where, where is the chapstick? I don't know. Is that at? It's it's at the glass. Besides. It's beside. It's, it's near. <laughs> it's next to. So. Yes. Yes. Where okay. are you? Where are you, Ben? You're at home, right? Yeah. Well, home for for at least a month. We've been here for two weeks, um, and uh, we'll be here for two more weeks. We're in Oaxaca. Okay. Yeah, I know, but what's the answer that? for at? <laughs> huh? That's the what? example for at. Oh, 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 gotcha. Yeah, yeah, where am I at? I'm at home. There you go. That works. Um, okay, so let's see here. So where do you study? I study blank my desk for three hours every day. Let me show you guys this. So I'm not just talking to you out loud. I study blank my desk for three hours every day. Can you guys see that? Yes. Oh. Well, are you actually on your desk or are you near your desk? In? Yeah, but you're not in your desk. Think of um, a drawer where you put paper and pens. That's in your desk. Okay. And on your desk is where your computer is. But you're not on your desk like your computer. You are next to it. And so that's why we say at. I'm oh, at my oh. desk. It means near, next to, or beside. Oh. Okay. Um, but also, when we say, like, I'm at the movies, 
there we are actually we can be either inside the movie theater or outside near it so I'm at the movies it just means I'm very close to it so for number one the answer is at my desk I study at my desk okay what about number two she's been sitting blank the sofa watching Jerry Springer for ages on yes oh. yes yeah, she you sit on the sofa okay if you lose money okay you lose money inside the sofa you lose um, food in the sofa okay um. but we sit on the sofa okay number three I'm so tired I'm already in bed in bed in. yes Yes. Now you can say um, I'm go I'm in the covers or under the covers, and that's another thing. Like a bed sheet and a blanket, we also call them covers because they cover us at night. Okay. Okay. Uh, number four, Jessica, please sit blank the table and get ready for dinner. At. Yes. Please sit at the table. Okay. And get ready for dinner. Number five. The book you need is blank the shelf above the oven. In. Okay. Oh. Now here. Yes. This one is on because the shelf oh. might not. Well, think of if the shelf does not have a door, like the table, right? Sometimes oh. shelves do not have doors, so it cannot be in the shelf, but it can be on the shelf. Okay. All right. So number six, please, can I borrow the pink dress that's blank your wardrobe? Say what? In. in yeah our wardrobe does have doors uh, and so you know our clothes are inside the wardrobe alright uh, if I don't have a glass of water beside me blank my bedside cabinet I can't sleep let me make this better for you here if I don't have a glass of water beside me Blank my bedside cabinet. I can't sleep. At. Yes. Uh, and you know, I don't. We don't say cabinets. For us, we would just say, ah. What is going on? Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Goodness gracious. Uh, we would say desk or um, Sue. What's what's your next to your bedside? What do you call those? <laughs> is that a drawer? What is that? Bookshelf. But it's a, it's your night table, right? Yeah. Night okay. Table. Yeah, we call it a night table. My bedside night table. But what happens when you wake up? Is it your night table? You know? Oh, this is my morning table. <laughs> but in in Spanish, we call um night table. Okay, you do the, call it. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's whatever you want to call it. I mean, in the morning, you're like, oh, look, it's my desk or my drawer or it's my where I put my lamp <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you know we there's so many names people give it uh, I guess it's whatever you use it for but the answer for number seven is if I don't have a glass of water beside me on my bedside night table oh. yes I cannot sleep and that's all I got 
All right. Uh, do you guys have any questions or want to ask uh, about something in your house? Like you don't know uh, how to say it in English or what it is or anything like that? Something you've always wondered before we go? No? All right, well, th that's the class.